All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you a quick hand bow. And I'm just gonna do a super simple um, hand bow. It'll be a three loop bow. Um, some call it the Lisa bow, but it's super, super easy. So I went ahead and just uh, dovetailed the end. And we're just gonna measure out about seven inches. And once you get to seven inches, then pinch. And we're gonna do about a seven inch loop. So you're gonna measure out 14 inches. And pinch. And that'll make your seven um, inch loop. Okay, we're gonna do that three times. So twist the back, just like that, so where it brings the pretty side up. Go out to 14 inches, pinch, and that. Now we've got two loops. You can also bring them up together this way to make sure that they're the same height. And then we're gonna twist and measure out to 14 inches one more time. and twist and then cut our seven inch tail. Okay, I lost my pipe cleaner. All right, we're just gonna grab, oh, there it is. Okay, and then um, you're just gonna grab a pipe cleaner and tie this off and we're gonna do the next layer. And this is just really nice for when you do, when you don't um, have a bow maker um, and your hands get sore really fast. So the pipe cleaner ho holds each layer for you. Um, and then that way your hands don't cramp. Okay, let's go to the next layer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this really pretty plaid. And I'm going to dovetail this end. Now we're going to do the same process each time. And you just come in um, anywhere from a half inch to an inch each time. So this time I'm going to come into six and a half. And we're going to pinch the tail. Come into 13 and you end up with one loop and twist, go to 13, there's your second loop and twist, your next loop and twist and then cut your tail at six and a half. Okay, now where there's two loops and then one loop, you just wanna make sure it's the opposite. So you're gonna turn it around so that when you lay this layer on top, there's gonna be two loops here with one and then two loops here with one and two tails. So what I do, let me undo this. I just hold onto it here so that it doesn't come undone and you're gonna undo your pipe cleaner and just pull it out and tie it all back together again. And it doesn't have to be perfect. The last time you put the pipe cleaner on, um, you'll make sure that it's on there nice and tight and dovetail this end. Oh, that didn't look like a very pretty cut. Let's try that again, okay. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We've got two loops, one loop, two tails, and then we have our other set of tails, two loops, and then one loop. So that's what we have so far. And let's go to our next one, which is gonna be our Halloween, which I chose to do this Halloween one last, um, but that way you could see it better. Okay, we're gonna dovetail that end. And this is a really pretty 
um, kind of a burnt orange color. Um, I love this ribbon. Okay, same thing. We're going to come out. We'll go ahead and do six and a half inches again. Okay. And then let's go to 12 inches. And that's your first loop. We're going to twist. That way your pretty side is going to come up. So let's go to 12 and pinch, twist, do it one more time, and twist, and we're going to cut this tail at six and a half, okay, and then we're going to layer it on top. So you want to make sure that wherever there's one loop, that that's the side that the two loops go on. So we're going to lay it on top like this. Make sure I've got a hold of it everywhere. And then we're going to undo this pipe cleaner. Hopefully you guys can see really well. Now, if I could get it undone, that would be good. Okay. There we go. Lay it back over the top. And and you only have to like twist it once or twice, just just enough for it to hold. Okay. And then we're going to uh, dovetail this end. Okay. So now we've got one loop, two loops, and we're back to one loop and then the opposite on the other side and it doesn't have to look pretty yet okay you guys can hear honey in the background <laughs> but that's okay all right now what i want to do is i want to use this uh one and a half inch and we're going to repeat the same process with um the same colors and then i'm going to come in last with a different color as the middle Okay, so we're going to dovetail, and let's do a six inch tail, okay, and let's see, we're going to go to 11, and twist, 11, and twist, 11, and twist. Okay. And then let's cut this tail at six and a half. And lay it right on top. Let's see. It needs to go on this side. And you can do as little or as many layers as you want to. Um, out of the kit, I po pulled these uh, colors together because I think they're going to look really pretty together. And like I said, the very last layer is the layer that we're going to make sure um, everything looks really pretty before I uh, tighten that pipe cleaner. Let's see. Oh, I did that tail the wrong direction. Okay, and then dovetail this in. Alright, and then we're going to do the one and a half plaid like the other one. And each time it just gets a little bit smaller. Um, you can, like I said, you can do half inch, one inch increments. Okay, we're going to do about a six inch tail now because we're getting close to the bottom. And now let's do, um, I think I did 11 last, so we'll do 10. And twist, ten, and twist, and ten, okay, and measure up to six inches, and there's your next layer, and we're going to lay that down. Just make sure you have a hold of all of it before you undo that pipe cleaner. And hopefully you guys can see okay. Okay, 
Okay, and then just tighten it once or twice. And let's come in with the last one and a half, which is the spider and spider web. Okay. And let's dovetail this end. it at six inches as well except for this time let's go down to nine inches and that makes one loop so twist and it's really important to make sure that you twist it every time so that the uh, correct side of the ribbon shows up and twist Okay, now let's lay this on top. Let's see, here we go. And I can always tell when I'm getting close to the finishing a hand bow because my thumb starts to cramp. That's how I know when it's time to stop. <laughs> okay. And now, I'm just kind of matching up the way I, see, I pulled that one too tight. Okay. Let's tuck that one back in there. Dang it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hold it in my hand. And get it in there and then kind of fluff it out and then that way I can totally tighten it. And you don't have to use a, a pipe cleaner to finish it. You could use um, a zip tie if you wanted to. Um, you don't have to use a zip tie. Let's see which side and you don't have to use as many ribbons either and um, with this kit you could make so many different options because there's so many ribbons to choose from okay just want to make sure I got this all right I think everything is where it needs to be, so I'm going to go ahead and put the pipe cleaner on and get it nice and tight this time. So I'm going to pull really hard and then twist it. And when I twist it, I twist it once and then we're just going to turn the bow and get it nice and tight. And then I'm going to take this ribbon. And you guys, you get so much ribbon in this kit that um, there you could make a ton of bows. Something that I like to do, but not everybody does, is I like to pull the wire out of the ribbon when I use it in the middle of a bow. So as long as I can get it out, it makes it so much easier to tie it around the middle but it doesn't mean you have to either. Okay, so now I'm gonna just take this ribbon and kind of fold it in thirds. And that's gonna become the center of our bow. And you're just gonna flip it over, tie a knot. And I cut extra just so it's easier to tie. So you have something to hold on to when you tie it in a knot. Okay, and then I take my pipe cleaners and go over that knot and just twist uh, once or twice. And that just kind of secures it. And now we're just gonna cut the extra off because you won't be able to see it. Okay. And then we're just gonna fluff it out and it'll be all done. Okay in this adorable 
Spider ribbon is on top. Oh, I have a tail that's not dovetailed. There we go. And I just make sure that all the loops are nice and fluffed out and uh, tails are straight. Of course, whatever project you decide to put it on, um, it'll hopefully give your bow lots of support and that helps too. And the pattern just stays the same. So you're just, if there's two loops on one side, then the one loop goes in between, takes all the guesswork on how to fluff it out, because you already know um, how to, where to put them, which is kind of nice. Okay, guys. All right. Looks like I've got it all nice and fluffed out. So hopefully, let me move this ribbon so you can see it better. Let's see, maybe move that one here. There we go. It looks, well, maybe this side, the camera's backwards. There we go. Anyway, once you lay it on your project, it'll be a nice, big, beautiful bow. And that's just one way of making bows. It's just a nice three-loop bow. Okay, see you later.